In 1995, I had the wonderful opportunity of meeting Gary Young, who sells and promotes the use of pure essential oils, one of the best products on the planet. I was asked by the elders of the planet to go visit my son, John, and his friend, Robbie Unser. And while down there, we met two women who were using the oils, Julie Ferguson and her friend, Nancy, and they invited us to a lecture by Gary Young. The only place for me to sit was right in the front row, right in front of Gary Young. When I entered the building, I discovered that many of my teachers that were teaching me about the antenna system and pyramids were in the room. And as I sat down and I looked up at Gary's face, my teacher, Brother John, stood right behind him and he stuck his left hand out over Gary's shoulder with a credit card in it. And he simply said to me, Mary, I want you to help people learn how to use the oils because it will help them raise their consciousness so they can better tune this planet into its healing properties by the use of the frequency of love going through the grid. So as I sat there and watched Gary Young, I realized that my next job was to sell Young Living Oils. Now I had just written a book called The Alchemist Handbook of Homeopathy, and I sent this book all over the United States. As they ordered it, I also put a tape in there by D. Gary Young on the use of essential oils. As I studied Young Living Oils, I wrote newsletters. And in this newsletter, I started to teach about the different uses of the oils, the limbic system. And I discovered a man named T.D. Lingo. Lingo discovered that the frontal loads can take you into time, space, energy, and matter. And you can start communicating with the fairies and the divas and the elders of the planet. The opportunity to graduate into higher planes of consciousness was a simple way of using the essential oils. So in 2002, a group of us got together and we formed the Sisterhood of the Emerald Fire because we were studying the teachings of Mary Magdalene. Now it's time for us to start using aromatherapy and all methods of healing through the Olympic system, through the sense of smell and through the sense of taste. Our bodies have two brains, the neural brain and the glia brain. The neural brain addresses consciousness in the physical realm, where the glia brain addresses the spiritual and the emotional realm. The glia brain operates from the heart, where the neural brain operates from the mind and the brain itself. The gateway to multidimensionality in our spiritual freedom is through our glia brain. Glia cells are the inner connection to our divine I am selves. The glia brain is the largest organ in the body and wraps the nerves in a seamless protective covering. In the nervous system, glia cells outnumber neurons 6 to 1. In the white matter of the brain, they can be 100 to 1. With glia cells being the gateway to multidimensionality, and 85% of our brain are glia cells, the possibility of achieving spiritual freedom is likely. The glia brain is activated through our senses. The nose is the entranceway into the glia brain. Your sense of smell is an important trigger. The inhalation of pure essential oils can instantly activate the glia brain. Scent enters the nasal cavity and is immediately transferred by millions of olfactory receptor cells. These receptor cells act as an antenna to take the frequency of the oils and scent into every cell of the body through the glia brain within seconds. The olfactory bulbs are located in the forebrain on the underside of the brain behind the eyes and are connected directly to the amygdalas. This is the science behind aromatherapy. Essential oils are vibrational and can be measured in Hertz frequencies. The glia cells immediately send the frequency of the oils throughout the body, whether inhaled, ingested, or applied topically. 
take care that you use only high quality essential oils. The parotid glands are like a computer chip. They are salivary glands that are located in front of the ears and extend into the lower jaw bones. They interact with sublingual glands in the floor of the mouth and under the tongue to send frequencies throughout the body along the gliobrain. This is how homeopathy works. There are several ways to activate your gliobrain and enjoy the benefits. Daily practice of the following techniques will strengthen your glia activity. Meditation, focused breath work, walking a labyrinth, essential oils, and being and holding unconditional love. Focused imagery is a particular type of meditation that can increase the concentration of glia cells. As we meditate, we can focus on an image, sacred sight, thought, or our breath. We can tone, use sound, resonance, and frequency, as well as techniques to balance the chakra system and heal our emotions. Walking a labyrinth can switch on your tachyon fields and activate your gliobrain. Tachyon energy is the foundation of all creation. The soul is tachyon energy. The clocking action of the tachyon field represents the physical, mental, and spiritual energies. As you move clockwise and counterclockwise, you balance the left and right hemispheres of the brain. The center of the labyrinth is a gateway to the multidimensional realms. You can spin a Merkaba over your heart chakra to stimulate the glia brain. When spinning your Merkaba, spin one triangle or pyramid to the right and the other one to the left. This sets up a resonant frequency that moves you into unconditional love and higher dimensional realms. Unconditional love vibrates the color of emerald green. This is what Mary Magdalene taught in her esoteric school, the Sisterhood of the Emerald Fire, balancing the mind through the heart. Pulsing the feet with essential oils is another way to activate the glia brain. The nerve endings on the bottom of the feet correspond to every point of the body. Reflexology charts show the area that corresponds to a specific organ or body part. The big toe, for example, stimulates the brain. To pulse the feet, simply put five drops of a pure essential oil into the right palm and rub it on the right foot. Place five drops into the left palm and rub it on the left foot. Hold the feet at the arch until you feel an even pulse in both palms. Once activated, the glia brain begins to pulse the entire body, regulating the heart pulse to the frequency of the essential oils. The spiral breath technique was given specifically to activate the glia brain and the limbic system. Visualize your inhalation coming into your heart, then moving up and around your head to the limbic system in the Fibonacci spiral. Inhale through your heart, up through the brain stem, around the occipital to the top of your head to the crown chakra. Continue your inhalation around to the frontal lobes, your third eye, and down through your nose and up into your limbic system. Exhale through your amygdalas, which sit on either side of your third eye. You will begin to feel sensations in this area, like a vibration, humming, or tickling. With frequent practice of this technique, you can turn on hidden brain functions such as precognition, clairvoyance, clairaudience, telepathy, telekinesis, and can even allow the ability to transcend space, time, energy, and matter through consciousness. When your activated glia brain is balanced within the heart and the mind, the sacred feminine and the sacred masculine, you have the ability to expand your physical body into your vast vibrational light, your light body, blessed be.